again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks and tonight's video is going to be about Photograve again but it's really about problems that you could occur. I had a viewer or subscriber send me this photograph of this buck and wanted me to help him with it. Well when he actually sent it to me this is the picture he sent to me and the picture is only 1.2 inches tall. So, whenever you're going to make a picture, let's say of 12 by 8 on a piece of tile, you can't make it any better because, uh, I mean, you, you could still engrave this with Photograph, but he was having troubles with it. And here's what the trouble is. I've zoomed this one up to an 8 by 12. I'm just going to zoom in on the deer's head. Look at the pixels. It... I don't care how good the software is, it can't pick up those individual hairs and make it look good because they're not there. Now this is a picture I took just yesterday in my backyard and pretty impressive buck. But let's zoom in on his head. And look, you can see, I mean it's not a perfectly sharp picture, uh, but you can see almost the individual hairs. And here's the difference. He sent me a picture that is one inch by two inches. Here's my original picture that I took with my SLR digital camera, which is 72 inches. So I can reduce that down to a 10 by 12, and it's still going to be sharp because here's the original picture. It doesn't change it any. Anyway, I did contact Photograve when I started making these videos to see if I was doing anything wrong or in their eyes and the only thing they suggested that when you go into Photograve and if you watch the other videos and if you haven't please watch them I brought the picture into Corel Draw and then I expanded the picture a little bit to run past the tile they said it would be better to make the picture when you resize it in Photograve just a hair bigger than, than 12 inches and then that way it wouldn't you wouldn't have to stretch it. I don't personally think stretching it just a little bit would hurt but evidently they're the experts so that's a little tip for today. Anyway so you need to start out with a good photo is the basics to this video. Anyway hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.